The movie begins. We are shown Jason, one who is very fond of music, and that by shooting his music video, used to put it on social media. Then, we are shown a girl, who is wearing a nun's clothes after killing her. Jason then goes to school with his sister Zoe, because their vacation is over. Jason and his sister attend a Catholic school. The name of the principal of this Catholic school is Rebecca. Then Rebecca meets a new nun, who has been transferred to this school today. That new nun calls her name Sophia. Rebecca shows Sophia the whole school. Meanwhile, Sophia also meets Jason, and here we learn that Sophia is going to be Jason's class teacher. After this, Rebecca shows Sophia her room. In the room, Sophia watches Jason's music video on laptop. And seeing him, she starts kissing her laptop. This tells us that Sophia already knew Jason, and that she had come to the school for some purpose. The next day Sophia goes to class, and she sees Jason talking to a girl named Sarah. Seeing this, she feels jealous, and she changes everyone's seat. Despite being a nun, Sophia did not get morning prayer. So, she asks Zoe to pray in the morning. Zoe also feels a bit strange seeing all this. Then, once when Jason is kissing Sarah, Sophia sees them. Seeing Jason kissing another girl, she feels very jealous. Then in anger, she goes to both of them and tells Sarah to stay away from Jason. After this, Sophia invites Jason to her room to meet him after class. Then she deliberately keeps the door of her room open, and she starts changing the dress. Then Jason comes over there, and he again secretly sees Sophia changing her dress. Actually Sophia did this intentionally so that she could seduce Jason. After a while, Jason leaves without meeting Sophia. Sophia sees Jason leaving and she smiles as her plan is successful. Next day is the weekend and the families of all the students are coming to take their kids home. Here Sophia sees Jason talking to Sarah again. Feels jealous and then Sophia tells sister Rebecca that her aunt is unwell. And that's why she needs to leave. Rebecca also allows her to go. After reaching home, Jason tells his parents that he wants to take a drop so that he can focus on his music career. Jason's mother supports him a lot, but his father is not happy with this decision. Then he starts singing a song sitting near the swimming pool. Sophia also secretly hears Jason singing the song. Just then Jason gets a call from Sarah and Sophia gets very angry seeing this. In a fit of rage, she goes inside Sarah's room and secretly leaves the place, placing the drugs between her books. On the next day, when she gets the student's bag checked, the drug comes out of Sarah's bag and because drug is in school is illegal. That's why Sarah is suspended from school. After this, the entire school and hostel are checked and a bottle of liquor comes out of Jason's room as well. When it comes time to punish Jason for it, then Sophia talks to the rest of the fathers and nuns to get him a small punishment that he has to help with the cleaning of the school this weekend. Sophia punished him so that he could stay at school this weekend and in fact Sophia did. A bottle of wine was kept in that room. Now we are shown the scene of flashback how Sophia fell in love with Jason. In fact, Sophia once saw Jason's music video on social media and she had fallen in love with him at first sight. Then Sophia does complete research about Jason. Then he learns that a nun named Sophia has been hired at Jason's school. Then she meets the sister and kills her. Now it's time for the weekend again and both Jason and Zoe stop at the school to clean up. During this cleanup, Sophia helps Jason and tries his best to seduce him. On the same night that he is sleeping in his room, Sophia walks into Jason's room and turns on the recording of her phone and keeps it on the side. Then Sophia takes off her clothes and starts kissing Jason. At first, Jason doesn't like it because Sophia is a nun but he can't stop himself when Sophia seduces a lot. Then both are intimate. Jason is shown the next morning, which must be feeling very guilty because he got intimate with a nun then when. There is no one in Jason's room when Sophia comes to his room and starts smelling Jason's clothes. Just then Zoe comes there and sees her. Then Sophia scolds Zoe and then Zoe tells Jason about it. Seeing all this, Sophia gets very angry with Zoe and she gives low marks to Zoe in the test. All this is very strange for Zoe because she used to get maximum marks in her class. Then Zoe comes to class again to give an exam, then she sees it, that the test paper is placed on top of the dress. Meanwhile, Sophia comes to class and sees Zoe while looking at the test paper. Actually, whatever was happening in this, it was also part of Sophia's plan. She deliberately placed the test paper over the desk so that Zoe would see it and he would catch her doing so. Then Sophia takes Zoe to the principal Rebecca and tells everything. Rebecca knew that Zoe was a good student and so she wouldn't suspend her. On the other hand, Jason is still feeling guilty for his actions. 
So he goes to church and confesses to God. Here Sophia comes inside the confession box, and then both make up there too. After a few days, now Sarah holds a party in her house and calls Jason there too. Seeing Jason going to the party, Sophia also follows him in this party. Sarah gets close to Jason and starts kissing him. During the kiss, Jason remembers Sophia and then he stops Sarah from kissing, and then he also leaves the party. While coming out of the party, he had a bottle of liquor in his hand. For this reason, one catches the policeman, but handles Sophia's situation there. After this, Sophia takes him to a hotel. Here Sophia again tries to seduce Jason. Then Jason tells her that whatever they are doing is wrong. Then Sophia tells him that she wants to be with him for the rest of her life and that she also has a lot of money so that both of them can live happily together. Jason feels very strange hearing Sophia and then angrily scolds Sophia, says he doesn't want to be with her. Then he leaves from there. Jason is sitting on the side of the road when his father comes to him and he supports Jason to focus on his music career and allows him to take the drop. Jason is overjoyed to hear this and then both come home. The next day as the weekend is over, Jason and Zoe are ready to go to school. Sophia is also in the car outside their house. Her condition worsened a bit as she was feeling very bad about what Jason had said last night. Zoe then sees Sophia leaving from there. Seeing Sophia over here, Zoe becomes more suspicious of Sophia and feels that something is wrong and so, she notes down the number of Sophia's car. Then she searches on the number of that car. Then she learns that the car is registered in the name of Sophia. Actually, this car belonged to the real Sophia, who was killed by this fake Sophia than Jason. In his room, he sees Sophia lying on her bed and a lot of pills in front of her. Seeing this, he feels that Sophia felt very bad about the things of the previous night and that's why she committed suicide. That is why he panics and then, he starts trying to wake Sophia. Then Sophia starts kissing him, and we learn that Sophia was just pranking Jason. Jason then gets angry and tells Sophia that he will complain to her. Then Sophia tells him that everyone will come to know after doing this. There was an affair going on between a nun and the student. Hearing this, Jason controls himself because he also knows that if he complains, his image will also be spoiled. Then Sophia leaves the room and Jason gets a call from Zoe asking him about Sophia. Jason then tells Zoe that he will tell her everything later. After this, during the class prayer, Principal Rebecca came to the class and Sarah was with her. She was forgiven for her mistakes. She also notices in class that Sophia doesn't know morning prayer. Because now or come back to class, Sophia tells Jason to stay away from her. But Jason does not listen to her, and this makes Sophia very angry. Then the same night Sarah is taking a bath, when Sophia enters her room, and kills her head in the wall and kills her. After this she keeps a soap there, so that everyone thinks it was just an accident. Then when Zoe finds Sarah's body, she tells everyone about it. After this, the police come here and everyone thinks that Sarah's death was just an accident. But Zoe and Jason were suspecting Sophia. So Jason also asks Sophia about it. But Sophia denies all this and starts blackmailing him by showing her and his videos. Now it is the weekend again and everyone goes to their homes. Sophia tells Rebecca that her aunt has died and she has to go to her funeral. Hearing this, Rebecca allows her to leave. The same night when Jason is having dinner outside with his family, Sophia is there joins those people. Jason does not like to see all this, and Zoe also asks Sophia many questions, to clear her doubts, but Sophia is unable to answer properly, due to which Zoe's suspicion starts to deepen. Here the principal Rebecca wanted to send flowers to Sophia's aunt's funeral, so she called the hospital. On calling, Rebecca learns that Sophia has been lying for so long. Here, on repeated inquiries about Zoe, Jason tells Zoe about his affair with Sophia. Now both of them suspect that maybe she is not the real Sophia. That's when Jason remembers that he saw a laptop in Sophia's room. The next day, while Rebecca is talking to Sophia, Jason and Zoe sneak into Sophia's room and find a laptop there. There are many photos of Sophia inside that laptop. That is, this laptop belongs to the real Sophia. Jason also finds another laptop over there which is of a fake one. Sophia has Jason's many pics inside the laptop. On checking the laptop, they come to know that the real name of Sophia, the fake one, is Laura. Then both of them take the decision to keep this laptop as a proof so that action can be taken against Sophia. On the other hand, when Rebecca tells Sophia about her lie, Sophia tries hard to hide her lie, but is unable to hide it. Then Sophia angrily knocks Rebecca unconscious by killing her with a lamb. Jason and Zoe go to church looking for Rebecca, and Sophia also comes there. 
Here Sophia learns that both of them have come to know the truth and hence she attacks Zoe who stops her when Rebecca also comes there and starts fighting with Sophia. Sophia is about to kill Rebecca that's when Jason kills Sophia with a screwdriver which would have killed him there. In the next scene, we are shown Jason and Zoe graduating and in this joy, Zoe gets a car gift and Jason's father gifts him a guitar. And this is where the movie ends. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.